How you doing today? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video, we are going to discuss a swing trading strategy. So basically, this could be anyone who currently has a full time job looking to make a little bit extra income on the side and doesn't really have time to watch a chart or simply someone that just, you know, likes to enjoy their free time and really just got into trading because they wanted that freedom from working. So if you don't enjoy just like sitting in front of your computer all day long, staring at the charts, this is a good strategy just to, you know, enter in, set it, you know, look back at it every once in a while, see what it's doing. And uh, yeah, just let it ride out. This one uh, trades could last a few weeks, could last a few months. Um, basically just how the price action plays out. But uh, either way, we're going to look at a few different examples. I have um, two of them actually back to back on the New Zealand dollar uh, and the US dollar, the dollar Swiss and the dollar yen. All right. So the first one I'm going to look at here is the New Zealand dollar. Uh, this is the one that is shown on the thumbnail for this video. So basically, uh, I'm going to go over first what uh, what indicators I'm using to help me enter in on these trades. All right. So first things first, I have the RSI here, but I do not have it set at the standard uh, settings. What I do, I have it set as a 55 period RSI. As you can see, we are on the four hour chart. Um, this is the time frame I find works best with this strategy. I've tested it out on other ones, but I don't know. It's just something about the four hour chart that seems to work better. So, um, if you want to try it out on other ones and test it out, play with the numbers a little bit, that's totally up to you. But, uh, the four hour chart is what we're going to discuss today. So yeah, 55 period RSI, we are going to be looking for overbought and then oversold signals, okay? Then I have, this one here is actually a volume weighted exponential moving average. A basic exponential moving average will work. Um, basically any moving average will work. However, this is the one that I prefer to use. Um, like I said, these, these strategies, they can all be kind of tweaked to suit your needs and your style, basically. If you prefer using a simple moving average, you could totally do that. There are no restrictions on the moving average or um, whatever you want to use, right? You can you could tweak these strategies a little bit, but um, yeah. So this one here, it's going to be a 34 period, and uh, this is going to help us get our entry point, all right? So basically, the RSI gives us our signal that price is about to reverse. This is a long period RSI. So it's going to be more of a trend RSI rather than um, a quick uh, overbought and oversold signals. So we're going to be looking at a long term trend on this. So what we want to do, we don't want to enter here because this is, um, I mean, on this example, it worked, but you don't want price to come down back into this zone here and then give us a second oversold signal, right? Or sorry, overbought signal. You don't want that to happen to you. So that's why we have this second confirmation and this is going to be our entry signal. All right. So basically what you're doing, you're waiting for the over overbought signal here, and then you wait for price to cross your moving average. You don't want to enter on crosses if price is not overbought or oversold because you will get you will get chopped out for sure 100 percent so you want to have the two confirmations overbought and then you wait for the cross you enter right there let the trade ride out until you see that it is oversold which is going to be all the way down here all right however we don't want to get out right on that oversold signal you can, but there is a possibility that it comes down further and it stays in oversold for a while. You don't know what's going to happen. So what you do, I mean, you've already gotten lots of pips on this trade anyway. 
If you give back a little, it's not the end of the world. All right. So what you do, once you see that it's oversold, you wait for price to cross back over your moving average. So again, you have the two confirmations. All right. So this trade here, we would have exited right there. And we would have just banked ourselves 860 pips on this trade. Yes, it took us 81 days, so nearly three months. However, you set this, you came and checked on it every so often, um, once a day maybe, really and truly if you wanted to, uh, because it's a four hour chart, you could check every four hours, but the odds from it going overbought to oversold in four hours are very low. Um, but that's totally up to you. Whatever you want to check on it, you can check on it. Um, but yeah, so this one here, we would have got 860 pips and our drawdown was actually amazing on this trade. 5.3 pips. That's our max drawdown on this specific trade, which is unbelievable. Unbelievable. All right. Um, like I said, there was two examples on this chart here, and they are literally back to back. All right. So we had our oversold signal here. We enter right back into this trade. As soon as we close it, we just reverse our position and we ride it out all the way till we get overbought again, which is right there. We wait for this to cross over. We exit right there. And then we just banked ourselves in another, well, almost 80 days, 79 days. We banked ourselves another 651 pips. So again, we didn't really need to do anything. We just entered, we set it, forget it, you know, check on it every end of the day, whatever you want to do. Um, and yeah, you just banked yourself. How many pips is this? So we got 1500 pips in 160 days. So that's um, not close to half a year, roughly. But instead of taking a whole bunch of trades, instead of losing money on commissions, uh, spreads, re-entering, um, exiting, and even having chances of losing money based on the amount of trades that you end up taking, right? This one here, you just took two trades in half a year, right? If you're, if you're entering and exiting within all these little swings, and you're getting chopped out and you're taking losses here and there. Um, it's possible that over those six months, you end up losing money. It's very possible. So this is a high reward with low risk strategy. Let's check the uh, drawdown on this trade specifically. We would have had a 84 pip drawdown. So you want to make sure that you're setting your... Um, your stops at reasonable lengths. One thing I've talked about in different videos is using the ATR, uh, the average true range indicator, right? You can use this as your, uh, as your stops. So basically at this point here, we had roughly 87 pips. So roughly a 130, um, stop loss, 130 pip stop loss. So stop level 130. Boom. We would have let this ride out all the way to there. We would have exited right there. And we would have just had basically a five to one on this trade, all right? However, it only did give us a drawdown of 80, uh, 87 pips, all right? So that's two examples right there. Let's jump down to dollar Swiss, all right? So you're gonna have to look at multiple different pairs for this because it is a long-term strategy and you are using a 
long-term RSI. So, you know, just check out every single pair. If you get an overbought signal or an oversold signal, then you can start looking to enter in on this trade. All right. So right here, we would have got our overbought signal right there. We would have waited to enter, could have entered right here. Right there as soon as it broke. And then, yeah, we just let this ride out all the way till we get our oversold signal right there. Wait for price to cross. And we exit, just like that. All right, so this one here, roughly two months, you hold on to this trade for and you bank 374 pips. And you don't need to worry about trying to enter exit a whole bunch of different trades and get stopped out and risk losing money right you just set this and let it ride out all right so that one there what was our drawdown max drawdown on that one was 44 pips all right so now moving on to the dollar yen we have our overbought signal here oversold signal right here so this would have been our trade right in here again wait for the overbought start watching it as soon as it crosses enter in and i mean if you want to add extra confirmation wait for a retest of that line of your moving average line you could totally do that that's up to you but um yeah if you want to enter there wait for price to get oversold again, or sorry, uh, yeah, oversold, and then wait for price to cross the moving average again. This one here would have only been 15 days, so half a month, bank 470 pips on that. All right, so yeah, that's, uh, that's your strategy right there. It's uh, very simple, only two indicators. If you wanna use the ATR as a stop loss, um, something to help set stop loss placement you could totally do that but that's up to you um, really and truly you only need the two indicators which is the RSI set to a 55 period and then your moving average set to a 34 period wait for the overbought wait for the oversold and then for your entry and exit wait for it to cross your moving average very very simple long-term hold strategy all right so anyway hope you enjoyed this video hope this uh, helps you in your trading and like i said if you are working a full-time job and you don't have time to look at the charts all the time this is a perfect strategy for you to test out test it out in you know replay mode set it into your your replay mode if you see an overbought or an oversold signal, try it out for yourself. Play with it, tweak it a little bit to suit your needs if you want. But um, yeah, if it works for you, hope, uh, hope it helps you make some money, all right? Anyway, that's it for this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. And uh, if you haven't already, remember to subscribe to my channel. Uh, we'll be posting up more videos like this. Um, if you haven't, checked out my other content. I already have some videos posted up that also may help you get a better understanding of some concepts in trading. So uh, yeah, anyway, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one. Take care.